Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I got another Nintendo Switch related review for you. So I have a bunch of controllers and controller accessories. So with the Nintendo Switch, they have the Joy-Con controllers, right? We've we've seen them, uh, we know what they are, right? There's so many different colors and I've been collecting all the different colors. I've done a bunch of videos on those. I've even gone so much as to get custom uh, Legend of Zelda Joy-Con controllers and even uh, made my own Atomic Purple Joy-Cons as well because I love all those color combinations. Well, we have something a little bit different. Not only are there different Joy-Cons, but the actual Joy-Con grips themselves um, are also, they have different ones that have been released. So the Joy-Con grips uh, are just kind of plain, you know, black, uh, but then the charging grip is, is also black, but it's a little translucent. You got your little, you know, USB uh, port right there for charging. Um, so, you know, that, that's all it is, right? So Power A has released a bunch of special Joy-Con grips. We have a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild themed one, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, and Splatoon 2. They actually have just a, a black one, a plain black one, and a plain red one. Uh, which I didn't get, but I got these specific game-themed ones because I thought they were cool. Splatoon 2 I've only seen at GameStop, so I don't know if it's truly a GameStop exclusive or it's just really hard to find. I don't know. Super Mario Odyssey and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, I think I got Super Mario Odyssey at Walmart, if I remember correctly, and then Breath of the Wild I had to order on Amazon. But uh, these are new that just came out recently. The Splatoon one's been out for a little while. Uh, but also what they've released recently are these special wired controllers right here. And so these ones um, are, you know, we're going to compare them to the Pro Controllers, of course, but these are themed after Super Mario, not specifically Super Mario Odyssey, but Super Mario in general, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I thought they looked really cool and I wanted to get these as well. So I'm excited about them. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing and, and kind of take a look at all of these things as well. So let's sort of start to jump right to it. I'm gonna start with the Splatoon 2 uh, one right here. So this is called a Joy-Con Comfort Grip uh, because they've added some 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 stuff to give it a better grip and make it more comfortable apparently. So these are all by Power A. These are also all officially uh, licensed by Nintendo. So these are technically official Nintendo products, not made directly by Nintendo, but they are official. They've got the, the official, you know, style packaging for the Nintendo Switch stuff with the white background and red logo. Uh, there it is right there with the uh, gray Joy-Cons on the side, as you can see. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, of course, I'll show you different comparisons with some of the colors and, and so on, but uh, let's get this thing open and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, these ones are not, uh, they do not have a USB port for charging like the uh, charging grip does. So that's one downside. So if you did want that functionality to be able to charge your Joy-Cons while you use this, then unfortunately you're gonna have to look for something else. Uh, this is not, this does not have a uh, USB port at the top. There's nothing there to, uh, to plug it in and charge. Granted, I've, not really use that much anyways, but um, yeah. So this is the Splatoon 2 one and it looks really cool. So as you can see on the back, it's kind of a bright green and it's a little bit of a slightly rubbery material to it. Um, and it definitely has an added grip for sure. You know, if I compare it to the, um, the other Joy-Con charging grip on the back, as you can see, from the side, this is re really where you can see where the grip is. Now, um, I don't find these like, uncomfortable to hold. They're, they're pretty decent, but I can certainly already tell how this will feel even better because it's it's kind of shaped to fit your hand a little bit more, and I like the material on this. It definitely adds a nice, uh, nice feel to it for sure. The middle part as well um, is kind of similar, um, but essentially it's really hard to see, but just like here how you have the LEDs uh, to show, you know, what player controller it is, the LEDs are actually there too. It just kind of blends in a lot because it's a very bright and filled design right there uh, with a whole bunch of little icons and images from Splatoon 2, which looks really cool, definitely. Um, so that's pretty neat. So for comparison's sake, um, I do have the gray Joy-Cons, which slide in very easily as I just did right there. So that's pretty cool. 
So yeah, so these are the gray Joy-Cons in here. Um, and so I feel like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda slide in some other ones here just to compare real quick in terms of the feel. With this Joy-Con grip and holding them, uh, you know, it, it feels okay, it's not bad, but I, I definitely feel like this is a little bit better of a grip. And I think, I don't, I don't know for sure, maybe it's just the shape of the, uh, the grip itself, but it almost feels like the middle piece is a little wider. I think it is uh, a teeny bit wider, a teeny bit uh, wider over here, which means your hands are not, I mean, it's so minute, but it doesn't feel as cramped. It, I feel a little bit of a difference, but also I think the, the back, the grip here certainly makes it pretty nice as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also do have the Splatoon 2 uh, Joy-Cons, the neon green and neon pink ones. And so that truly, I believe, is what will look really cool in here. Like that looks really neat, definitely. Um, I kind of wish that we had two neon green ones because I think that one would really shine, but they haven't released that. They've only released one neon green and one neon pink. Um, so, but I think this looks really cool. Like I definitely feel like this color combination really works. I think that looks awesome actually. I'm really digging this. I think uh, I'll probably be using this a decent amount. Um, and it feels like it's gonna be pretty easy to be able to, to hold and, and play for sure. So yeah, I definitely think it's it's pretty worthwhile to, to um, if, if you like the Joy-Con grip, just having that extra little piece right there. So anyways, there's that. Um, so let's move on to the next one here. I'm gonna slide my controller out and move this kind of to the back here. And let's take a look at the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild right here. Okay. Um, oh, I guess I should really quickly show you the packaging. I'll do both of these together. Super Mario Odyssey, it's all the same, just different styles, as you can see. So the side of the packaging shows you. They all show the gray Joy-Cons modeled with it. Um, but, um, but yeah, so there it is. So the Breath of the Wild one features Link on it, while the Super Mario Odyssey one features Mario with Cappy as well. Um, really excited about Super Mario Odyssey. Cannot wait for that game. Kind of a little bit surprised that this came out already. I thought they they might tie it into uh, the release of the game, but it's actually already out. Uh, and I also am surprised that the uh, the fact that this also just came out. I would have thought also that the Breath of the Wild one was already in stores, but I guess not. So currently, like I said, they only have, they have a regular black one and a regular red one, uh, which are basically I believe look the same. I don't know about the back, like if they're all solid colors or not, um, or what color they are. But the front part is, you know, black and red, but this time they released themed ones, which I think are really cool. So here's the one for Breath of the Wild. Looks really nice. You know, the, uh, they use the same like gold uh, for the logo and everything that they do on the back. So again, same exact mold and everything as the Splatoon one that I just showed, but it's got a nice, you know, comfort grip to it. And it's got that black and kind of that dull gold sort of look to it, um, which is pretty neat for sure. And then the Super Mario Odyssey one, you got Mario and Cappy right there. It's all red. And these are black on the back right here for the, the comfort grip. So it definitely looks pretty neat. Uh, so to bring in some Joy-Cons right here, um, I'm gonna bring in the, the gray ones real quick in the uh, Zelda one, because I think the gray ones really fit in with the black for sure. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, it definitely fits in very nicely and again, feels Pretty, pretty good. And then we can throw in some uh, neon red Joy-Cons. Now, they are releasing regular red Joy-Cons uh, with the release of Super Mario Odyssey in Japan. I do have them pre-ordered on Amazon Japan. So in my review of those red Joy-Cons, I will show you what they look like in this comfort grip because I feel like those will blend in much better. These neon red ones don't really fit in and uh, they almost look like a pink in comparison, just because of uh, the darker shade of red that you got there. Um, so uh, I don't know how well they look here, but once I get the um, the regular red Joy-Cons, then for sure you'll be able to see, um, you know, how that looks in, in that video. But yeah, I mean, it feels really nice. I actually really like the the grip on the back. It definitely um, has, a, has a really cool feel to it for sure. So that's pretty cool. Okay, 
So those are the comfort grips right here, as you can see. So, with that being said, the second thing that I want to show are these special wired controllers. Now, for comparison, uh, I gotta grab these right here, actually. So I have the Pro controllers right here for the, uh, the regular one and the Splatoon 2 themed one. So I will show you those comparisons. So these wired controllers, in, com in contrast, are gonna be much cheaper. Um, probably at least half the price, if not less, I believe. Uh, but they are wired, so that is the difference. But here's the Breath of the Wild one. Um, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of gold on it, which looks pretty cool. There's the side of it right there, so really, really cool looking. And um, just like the regular Pro Controller, they also have a regular D-pad compared to the Joy-Cons. So it's a soft touch rubber grips for added comfort does have an eight foot removable USB cable. So if you wanted to kind of store it or something, you can remove the USB cable, but I'm pretty sure you need it to be able to play with it. And then the Super Mario one uh, is also right here. Um, interesting that they didn't make it Odyssey themed per se, but then again, I think the design looks really cool anyways. So I think that's, that's certainly uh, pretty sweet. So these ones, um, I don't know how much I'm going to use them in particular. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna see how they feel when I when I um, open this up here, and and we'll see you know what what the feel of the controllers is. But I, I do really like the Pro controllers as is. Um, I just think these designs were really cool, so I wanted to do an unboxing to show you guys. Um, but in terms of the actual usage, because they are wired, I feel like it, in in one of my rooms where I have the Switch, I may use it more than one of the others. So here's the um, was it the eight foot. Uh, yeah, eight foot removable USB cable. So you do have that little um, Velcro piece right here. So here's the USB cable. And then this part just sorta, I guess slides right out. Oh, it's like a little <laughs> case. We got a uh, wired controller user manual right here. Let's see if there's anything important. Connect USB to a Nintendo Switch. So you do have to use as docked. Obviously this will not work uh, when using the um, uh, handheld mode. Um, so here it is right here. So it's gotta be USB and so on. So that's pretty standard right there. If you really wanted to use a, a controller for handheld mode, then uh, the Joy-Con grips with Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller are going to be your options. So here is the Breath of the Wild one. Oh, this looks really cool. <laughs> I am digging the look of this for sure. Um, oh, it's got an interesting feel to it. So the back has also got a bit of a, a rubbery feel a little bit, but it's not, it's not quite as rubbery as the Joy-Con grip, um, but a little bit. Yeah, definitely a bit of a difference. This one is definitely much more rubbery than on here, but it's it's got the same sort of a uh, contoured shape. You know what I mean? So it definitely still has that that comfort shape to it. Um, in fact, maybe it's not super. It's not maybe it's not really rubbery at all. Actually, I think I just it almost felt like it kind of fresh out of there, but it's not really rubbery much at all. Um, you do have the um, the control sticks, which are nice and big. Uh, I've, I've, I do notice that they feel really big, uh, which is nice. I mean, it definitely got a good grip to it. Um, easy enough to hit the uh, L, R, and Z, L, Z, R buttons. Your home capture button minus plus. These all feel really big in comparison. A, B, X, Y. You got your D-pad and shiny gold right there. Um, I really dig the design of it. I mean, you got Link right there. Like the design overall looks really, really slick. Um, for sure. So in comparison, you know, here's the regular Pro Controller. Uh, as you can see with the control sticks, definitely the, um, this control stick is, is, uh, got a bigger, like, uh, top to it right there. Uh, the buttons, I feel like, are the same size, um, except with these buttons, they feel like they're more, like, flush with the controller, versus these ones are definitely popping out a bit more uh, in terms of these four, the plus minus and stuff. So these are easier to click. Um, at the top, also different, um, you know, the uh, the L and R buttons are, are kind of shaped a little bit differently, like they're a little higher up and not as wide. And the Z, L, and Z, R buttons are also 
kind of sticking out a little bit more and upward, so it's got a bit more of a grip to it in a little bit. Um, now, I love the Pro Controller. I think it's great. Um, I think this also seems like it'll be pretty good as well for uh, for for some games. So, um, doesn't have as much weight to it. Um, but I suppose that makes sense because the Pro Controller has a lot more internals for the whole wireless and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I don't know if this one works with Amiibos. I was just thinking about that. It does not mention anything. So if I had to guess, I would say that it doesn't, but I could be wrong. Uh, also, there's no player LED indicator like how this one does. There's no LED indicator um, there. And then that's where the USB cable is. It's kind of recessed inside like so. So basically, this would sort of uh, pop in like that. And then you would have your controller connect in. Um, I, I hope it's pretty stable. I would kind of, oh yeah, it sits in pretty well actually. I just kind of realized that. So it's not like it's going to just slip out while you're playing. Like you really kind of have to push it in a little tight. So definitely um, there's that. Okay. So uh, last but not least, of course, we have the uh, Super Mario version of it. So this should be the same mold, same feel and everything, just uh, a different look. And from the box, at least, it looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to see how that translates to the final product. So same eight foot USB cable right there. Okay. And here we go. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I like, you know, the silver D-pad and everything. So on here, I feel like the D-pad really stands out more because the gold. On here, I like the, the background of the controller. I feel like that really stands out a lot more. Um, also, the, the A, B, X, Y are colored red to kind of fit with it. Um, but you got your little Mario right here. Um, you got some coins and flowers and a um, whole bunch of stuff right there. The star, all sorts of classic uh, Mario stuff. Even around the sides, there's little question mark blocks. Um, yeah, really, really cool design for sure. On the back, it's all one solid black um, piece and everything, so it's really only the front that has the color. But again, the feel of it is the exact same as the, uh, the Zelda one that I was mentioning right there, uh, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a bit of a different shade of red than the Joy-Con grip. Um, just keep that in mind, but otherwise, you know, still looks really, really cool. Yeah, I dig it a lot. So, I, again, I don't know how much I'm going to use some of these specific controllers, but I think they look really slick, and I think they're awesome, like, uh, just collector's pieces for sure. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I am collecting all of the Joy-Con colors, at least so far. That may change down the road. Pro controller eyes, I'm not, because they do have a Xenoblade one coming out that I'm not going to get. Uh, and for as for these Power A controllers and Joy-Con grips... I, I'm not planning necessarily on collecting all of them, but I will. I might get the ones that I really like and I think are really cool. And if you guys want to see those unboxing videos and see other ones, if, you know, if they release more in the future, which I'm sure they will, uh, then let me know in the comments below as well. But hopefully you enjoy this unboxing video. These definitely look really, really cool, and I'm excited to... Uh, to really truly try these out and see, you know, see what they're they're all about. But, uh, but yeah, so that's that, guys. I'm super excited uh, to to use these, and they look they look really cool. So props to Power A for for making some cool looking accessories for the Nintendo Switch, especially Joy-Con grips. I feel like I'm going to use a lot because of the rubber, which is pretty neat. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I did forget to do one thing as well that I thought would be kind of cool to show is to take my custom Zelda Joy-Cons and put them in the Joy-Con Comfort Grip right here. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of all of these Power A controllers as well. Ooh, that looks really slick. I really like that actually. That blends in very nicely. The gold, everything. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. I think I'm gonna use this a lot this combination right here. That looks so cool. I dig that a lot. So uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this as well. I'm also super excited about Super Mario Odyssey. I can't wait for that game. Let me know in the comment section below if you plan on buying that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.